here are five amazing insects that don't look like insects. Let's find out more about that in our little red jungle. Wow, look, now you have so many plants and animals. <laughs> Hey, hello. So, you know, over the years, filming nature videos around Singapore, I've stumbled across many insects, right? From butterflies to moths to bees and to ants. But, you know, we're not here to talk about a lot of these typical insects, right? Because here are five insects in Singapore that you might not even realise are insects. Jum, jum, jum. So first on our list is this pile of brown stuff I found at Bukit Timah and at first glance, you know, you might think that this is some poo-poo or even just like dirt. But what you're seeing is the nymph of the ant-snatching assassin bug. And it's called that because these crunched up black balls, these are the dead bodies of ants. So these little nymphs, they feed by sucking the inside of the ants up dry. And once they're done, right, you know, these dried up corpses still has a purpose. Because what they'll do is these nymphs, they'll stick the dead ant bodies onto their backs. And they do this because it masks their scent and breaks their silhouette. And so in essence, they will look and smell like a pile of ants. And so they can infiltrate ant nests and eat more prey. So next up, we have these fibres that I found at Windsor Nature Park, or is it like some feather of a baby bird? Well, this here is the nymph of a plant hopper. And all these white strands, right, they're actually a kind of wax. And so this wax formation can come in different shapes depending on the plant hopper species, but it's an adaptation that almost all plant hoppers as a whole have evolved to have. And these waxy structures actually help out the plant hopper nymphs in a myriad of ways, right? From UV protection to rain protection, right? Because wax, you know, is, is waterproof. And it also acts like a mini parachute, right? If these nymphs ever fall off a plant. Okay, so I'm beside some plants here at Bishan Amukyo Park and I'm seeing like clusters of ants around, what's this, like powder or, or mould or, or what's this, dried sap? Well, that white thing over there, uh, that's a mealy bug. And if you have a home garden, maybe you are familiar with these insects because they are a very common pest. Because these fellas will suck the sap off the plants to the point where the plants can even die, right? Sap is the main source of food for these bugs. And what's really cool is that these mealy bugs will actually produce some sort of like honeydew as a waste byproduct, right? Which is why all these ants are congregating around these mealy bugs, right? They're just happily eating on the waste products of the mealy bugs. And it actually becomes a symbiotic relationship between the two, right? Because the ants love this sweet substance so much that they will actually protect the mealy bugs from predators and parasites. And from there, the mealy bugs can just happily infest a whole plant and continue sucking all the sap. Up. Number four. Now, usually when we think of an insect that is a mimic, there is a very common and famous one, right? And that is this fella, right? And this is a stick insect. And so there are actually 41 different stick insect species that have been recorded in Singapore. And I actually found two different species at Pulau Bin. And as you can see, they really are a master of camouflage, right? But that's not even the cool part because, fun fact, female stick insects don't even need males to reproduce because they can actually produce eggs that, you know, if remain unfertilized, will just hatch to become more females. And so they can just reproduce really, really fast. And so when you're out in the forest, are you even sure those sticks around you are even sticks at all? And with sticks, we must also include leaves. And although there are leaf insects in Singapore, which you know are more closely related to your stick insects, this here is a leaf mimic catadid, which I also found at Pulau Ubin. And catadids are more closely related to your grasshoppers and crickets. Right, just look at this humongous and very beautiful creature. Really look like a leaf, yeah. But what I also want you to look at, right, are those legs, right? Because catadids, just like their cousins, can jump really, really well. And so I just want you to imagine, uh, you're just walking along our nature reserves, then you anyhow touch, and then, BAM! <laughs> ah, okay, I purposely wanted to jump scare you, I don't know if it worked or not, but yeah, I just wanted to showcase how cool insects can be, right? You know, there's so many amazing and quirky creatures all around you, even in Singapore. And all you need to do is just to slow down and to keep your eyes peeled. 
and maybe the next time that you're around our parks in Singapore, try to see if you can spot some of these well-hidden insects, right? Or if you know any other insect mimics that I did not mention today, comment down below. Right? But for now, that's the end of today's episode. But before we leave, we'd like to give a big shout out to our patrons. Mr. Chu, Spotman, Juno, No, 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 Ingler, HR Queen, Limpets, Muffin, Jets, Pingu, Master, Jablock, Tango, Amadillo, Neko Sama, Uncle Sam, Amelia, Fauzi, Willenor, Pixel, Feng Shon Fan, Esperant, Artist, Crooked Spider, Low Eli, Big Three Circles, Amy, Lul, Quack Quack, Mama and Momo, Ama, Purple Pepper, Mogat, and Kanji Hanja. Thank you so much for supporting this channel directly and if you would like to do the same, you can find the link to my Patreon down in the description below. Do also follow me on my other social media platforms and subscribe to watch more videos of our local ecology. Thanks again for watching and remember, keep your eyes peeled because that stick is an insect. Wait, that one is powder? Wait, what are all these things? Are these all insects? I might also run up by insects, right? Insects are not that scary, lah. Chill. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>